Hey guys, my name is Bharat and I've decided to make this really cool series where we show you different kind of day in life of students studying in different universities in Germany. I think especially for students back home who have been planning to, you know, study in German universities, for them this could be a very interesting video to see how students are spending their daily lives. In this video, I present you Asha. He is studying in TU Chemnitz and I let him show his day. Hello everyone, my name is Asha Kulli. I'm studying masters in embedded systems at TU Chemnitz and today I'm going to share how a normal day in my life looks like. So normally I sleep around 12 and wake up around 6 but in this quarantine days I'm trying to sleep early like around 10 and wake up around 4 to just try to see if I can be more productive. So as soon as I wake up I try to fix my bed and then I try to think what all can I cook for breakfast and then I head for some yoga and workout over here. So after having my shower, I try to plan my things out for the day, I mention all the activities which I have thought of for every hour and also keep a timer for the same so that I understand what I did the previous hour and how efficient I was. Wherein I do find leisure time also for my fun activities like taking my bike out for the ride or maybe cooking something. So before we proceed with my day, let me just tell you about my experience for one and a half years here in Germany as a master's student. So I got my admit on 7th of August 2018 and I was delighted to join this institute. It was the only admit which I got, like I'd applied to 10 universities and but that really helped me. I was not taking help of any consultancy. All I did was did some research, took help from Bharat's videos, took reviews for my SOP and other documents from him and uh, many others and did the proofreading and I got this admit. So I joined TU Chemnitz and the course is wonderful. Like we can choose many specialization domains like both in hardware and software side. You can select areas like signal processing, machine learning, automotive engineering. Then there is hardware design, system design, industrial IoT and many more. So currently I have done my courses and I have, I'm working on my research project which is related to inductive power transfer with an application of industrial IoT. And for that I have this plan but in general I sort of try to decide okay these are the things which I have to do for the day and I try my best to do the same because I am involved in many activities. Like I'm a part of the Stura, which is the student council. So we figure out many things. We try to help students in almost anything. And so I'm the part of the international subdivision of Stura. Then I'm also a part of the IEEE, which is a technical initiative, which helps conduct workshops and some seminars, which are very useful for students. And I'm also a part of the Indian Student Association, which is known as the Indian Cultural Center, ICC Chemnitz. So we as a group uh, have some great events like Diwali, Holi, Ganpati, Garba night and the biggest is the Diwali wherein we had around 1000 participants in 2018 and recently everything is like sort of shut but as the quarantine would be done and lockdown will be relaxed everything will be normal and things would be fine so apart from that I also really like to cook a lot I have a uh, Insta handle which is known as Thani Food Blogger where I post about whatever I've cooked and I try to include the things which I have tried in many different countries and it, this hobby started when I was in India like I love to do food blogging I'm a big time foodie I eat a lot of things and but I'm also sort of a fitness freak so it's sort of a battle between the both but I choose to have food anytime and I do take out time for some workout. So in this one and a half years, I also visited many workshops, job fairs, exhibitions, seminars in different parts of Germany in around 10 to 15 cities. And I've also traveled to 10 countries because you get this Schengen visa and you don't have to get visa to travel for each and every 26 nations. So I was in some countries for some hackathons, some competitions in some countries for some research workshop. This helped me a lot to understand where exactly should I focus and how exactly should I move about with my masters and with my goals to learn the skills. So 
right now i would be maybe going to the university so watch out for some great picks outside oh yes before that i can also do a room tour sort of my i live in a big a bone game mine shop with six people so i'll just try to show my room begin the room tour i have my calendar the sort and list which i've done here which helps me focus on the key areas and some motivational quotes which help me go through the day whenever i'm low or not able to focus i use alexa and google mini to understand german to learn german to get to know about the temperature news and many more things then i also have the gifts which are given to me by my friends this is the beautiful coat given gifted to me by yamini and manas this was gifted to me by the girl on the in the frame summer then these are some things it's kind of messed right now i use some of the circuit for my project and this is my study table then over here i have all my food items which are the masalas and some legumes and some dry fruits and here are some books then there are some toiletries then this is my bike i keep it inside the room it's unsafe in the keller there were many bikes which were stolen then uh, icc do have a ganesh idol and here are some things which we use for the events which we conduct and here are my clothes so as i mentioned i live in six sharing apartment so here is the attached toilet bathroom and this is the living room this is our cleaning plan this is the ramadan calendar a few messages from my ex roommates flavio and francesco this is where i do some crazy cooking stuff today i've invited a couple of my friends maybe around 7 to have dosa and later we would be watching a movie angrezi medium on my projector this are the few things which we need to get on our own the student work doesn't provide us and here's the fun part i have some games which we play there's football volleyball basketball this is a puzzle which we just recently completed and this is dartboard actually the vega was just renovated so it's not hung on the wall here i play poker many times so and sometimes we also do barbecue when the weather is good let's check out how it's today it's quite rainy and here we have some plants my roommates have planted them and this is how the view looks like from my 7th floor here is a beautiful lake where sometimes duck come in Here we have some barbecue parties. This is a beautiful tree. I'll share the pics later. And now is the time to work on my project. So I'll get back after it. now i'm heading to the new city it's raining today it is just that orange building which you can see and it's not that far this is my dormitory and it is just 5 minutes walk i can also take a, a tram if i am quite late and i just have to reach within a minute but now i'm just walking by so the new cambridge has four campuses and three libraries this is library bibliotech 2 bibliotech 1 is behind my dorm the campus starts from here the second campus these are the buildings this is the faculty for machine bow like the four campuses have different different faculties and for me my courses happen in the second campus a few happen in the first campus so now it as it's lockdown i can't show you the classrooms inside but i would do a tram journey from campus 2 to campus 1 and that was my life every day when i was doing my courses and now i am just busy with the project and my lab is in the w building which would come 
the grey one which you can see so I would just head near it here is the PC pool this is my place to study during exams it is open till 2 am I guess I go early morning at 6 and sometimes I study till 2 over here quite peaceful then here is the unique copy where we can take the photocopies printouts and this is a bookstore where you can find German books then there is a supermarket and also a sh shop for planning your travel across various countries so this is the W building and this is the N building the orange one and here is one more dormitory it's called Thuringenweg Dry and there is the club Club de Kulturen CDK where we have great parties and here is the Mensa and here is where people usually come to have their lunch and inside also there is quite a big space to have your meal so right now I am about to catch a tram uh, the timing in Germany are quite weird yesterday it was sunny now it's raining since morning and in summers the day uh, have ends at 10 or 10 30 the sun sets at 10 30 and it rises at around 4 or 4 30 so the supermarkets shut at 8 so you should better know to go early and buy the stuffs as due to the daylight you don't understand and in the winters it's totally opposite the day starts at 8 and it ends at 4 So guys, this is the main campus, campus 1, and there is the Universität Bibliothek, the central library which would start by October 2020. All the three libraries which I mentioned before would be merged together. So this is the main building, the Hop Eingang, and inside we have the huge entire university which was founded in 1835. Chemnitz Hofbahnhof is just next to campus 1. I am heading towards the Hofbahnhof to take the tram back to my dorm. One thing which we should note is the temperature varies in Germany so you should be prepared and I would have taken you to a tour of the supermarket. Let's see if the weather helps but make sure you check out the timings as they vary throughout the week. Sometimes they shut at 8, sometimes they shut at 7. So this is the Hauptbahnhof. There are around 10 platforms and the trains go to Leipzig, Dresden, Zwickau, Hof and many more places. So I have planned to go for a short ride as it was raining 10 minutes back but now the weather looks good. I would like to show you some streets in Chemnitz. So let's go. Guys, it's uh, about to be seven now, and uh, I have decided to make dosa. So let's go to the kitchen. So for the dosa batter, naturally we need the batter, and we are making two kinds of dosa. And uh, so this is the ready-made batter from MTR, but this we have made specially with uh, some chili, some onions, rava, which is suji, and some rice flour. And today I would be taking help of my friends because we are making a lot of quantity and so i would just introduce so this is kavya she's from bangalore uh, this is gorong he's busy in the phone, <laughs> With the phone. <laughs> and this is this is arjun <laughs> karan Hi. and yamini so we would be making dosa i'll just uh, brief in i have just chopped the onions and the chilies so here we would also put the potatoes for steam Look, 
सही है सही जा रहा है सही जा रहा है भाई We had a lot of fun editing this episode of the series and I know that Ashish is a really cool food blogger. He posts a lot of photographs on Instagram, but I definitely think that he should also consider starting a YouTube channel. If you believe the same, leave a like and if you want to get featured in this series, write me an email at bharat@bharatinjermany.com and we will get back to you. Thanks a lot for watching the video again. I'll see you in some other one. Have a nice day.